A fixed asset register is a list of assets owned by a business entity. This register of assets could be an Excel worksheet or it could be part of the business's financial software solution such as Sage 200. In addition to recording assets, the Sage Fixed Assets Register provides the ability to calculate depreciation and update asset values while also posting the transactions to the nominal ledger. New and pre-existing assets are manually entered into the Fixed Assets Register in the same way. Once any pre-existing assets have been transferred to Sage 200, the Fixed Asset Register report can be used to reconcile the fixed assets with the pre-existing spreadsheets or system. Let's take a look at adding a fixed asset. The asset ID not only helps to identify the asset, but if prefixes and or suffixes are used, it may help group related records together. Other information such as the manufacturer or type of assets can be added to the description field. Enter the asset's initial value. The cost price is used to calculate the depreciation amount for the straight line depreciation. The date acquired must be a current year date, a future or previous financial year date can't be entered and the field cannot be left blank. The last depreciated date is updated by the system when the asset depreciation is posted. On a new asset this will be left blank. This date would be used when transferring assets from a spreadsheet or other system part way through the financial year. Depreciation can be measured by period or annually. The methods are straight line or reducing balance. When entering new assets, the net book value needs to be entered and should agree with the initial value. The residual value is the estimated value at the end of the asset's life. This is only for straight line assets. The asset lifespan is the expected life of the asset. If depreciating by period, enter the number of periods. If depreciating annually, enter the lifespan in years. Enter a balance sheet account for depreciation postings. Enter a profit and loss account for depreciation postings. To avoid clutter in the ID fields, there are a number of analysis fields that can be used, such as manager, location and analysis fields 1, 2 and 3. These are all free text fields. Once all the data for the asset has been entered, click on the save button to save the details and then click close to close the record. Assets can be depreciated by using straight line either annual or period or by using reducing balance either annual or period. Depreciation of assets will make sure that your company's profit and loss and balance sheet accounts are updated with accurate depreciation values. Let's take a look at depreciating an asset. To depreciate assets, open fixed assets, depreciate asset. The depreciation period is the period up to which you want to calculate the depreciation. It defaults to the current period, but you can select a future period if you want to. An asset won't be listed if it has already been depreciated in the depreciation period you have selected. A list of assets is displayed showing the code, description, last depreciated date, depreciation method, and the depreciation amount, which is populated when you select the asset. Click on the Depreciate button. In the Confirm Depreciation screen, select the transaction date. This is the date you are depreciating the assets. It defaults to today's date but can be changed if required. If you are depreciating by period, the nominal postings will have the end date of each period you are posting for. The last depreciated date on the asset will be the end date of the last of these periods. Click on the Depreciate button to calculate and post the depreciation. Click Close to close the screen. Disposing of an asset writes off the net value of the asset. Any residual value of an asset must be accounted for manually. Using the disposal transaction date, the net book value is credited to the asset's balance sheet account, debited to the asset's profit and loss account, set to zero on the asset record and a disposal date is set on the asset. Let's take a look at disposing of an asset. To dispose of an asset, open Fixed Assets, 
Dispose Asset. A list of assets is displayed showing the code, description, last depreciated date, depreciation method, residual value and net book value. Only assets that still have some net book value are shown. Select the asset you want to dispose of. Click Dispose. In the Confirm Disposal screen, select the transaction date. This is the date you are disposing of the assets. It defaults to today's date but can be changed if required. The nominal postings and the asset transaction will have the date you specified here. To dispose of the assets, click Dispose. Click Close to close the screen. The SAGE 200 Fixed Asset module allows you to record and manage your tangible long-term assets within SAGE 200. If you would like further information on the Fixed Assets module, please contact sales at o-net.co.uk.